alphabet mafia is up in arms because the Biden administration has said that all biological men, including stunning and brave transformers uh -oh. you know, with the women's penis, still have to register for the draft. Uh -oh. oh. Well, uh, you know what? Since women should be in the infantry now, they're allowed in there. Fucking draft them too. Yeah. Draft them. Uh, they want equal <laughs> rights. They're going to get the fucking equal, equal left and right. Fuck them. They should be yep. drafted just like dudes. So they could drink deeply from the cup of disposability like men do. Mm -hmm. In the butt. Yeah, it, it's a cold world over here. Women think for some reason that being a man comes with all this, all these amenities, and it's we're just having a big frat party over here and shit. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, it's not like that. It's a lot of nobody gives a shit. That's most Fuck of it. it. I, but... This, this being drafted, this is the other side of that equality that they wanted. See, equality to them is all the fun shit, all the yep. good shit. I want a mansplain and whatever they think being a man mm -hmm. is, whatever the awesome part they think is. Um, yeah. But this is the other side. Now your ass has to go in the draft. And this shows how full of shit they are when it comes to this Ku Klux trans bullshit. Because <laughs> if, this was, if this was real... <laughs> then you would make the trans, and just the fact that you have to preface it with trans, you know what's going to follow is bullshit. That's, yep. you, trans means yep. you're not a real. That's what it means. You're not a real man. You're not a real woman. I, Whatever I, you were born as, that's what you got, man. That's the hand you were dealt. Oh, we're so bad. That's right. I, 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 I call them shimps or he, him, she's. Shimps. Yeah. She, him, person, or he, she, person, him, she. Rhymes with kimchi. It's, you know, it's. It's a cabbage dish. Which also I don't really makes like your asshole burn if you're in the wrong kind of relationship. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that Korean food is no joke, man. I'm just hey, it burns <laughs> in and out. Yeah. But it's it's just fucking ridiculous. They don't want real equality because if that were the oh. case, then all of these fucking weirdos would have to yeah. to join. Yeah, but when it comes equality? down to it. Yep. I want to see the equality. I want to see. I want to see fifty-fifty, or, or in this case, we could do. We could do quarters. We could do twenty-five, twenty-five. Well, well, biological men, biological women, trans men, trans women. I want them doing the roofing jobs. I want them doing the sewage treatment plant jobs. Yeah. Oh no, we, we don't want equality there. Linemen. We just want equality in the cushy office job that pays six yeah. figures. We want. We want to be the. Yeah. We want to be the the wolves of Wall Street. That's what we want: equality and bullshit. That's not real life for most men. No. That's not real life. All this shit. All these buildings and lights and shit you have and safety that comes from men that comes yep. from men doing it willingly we don't we don't have a problem with our position they have a problem with theirs yep. i'm i'm very comfortable in my manhood i know my position in life i know if there's a, a sound late at night i gotta go out there and get fucked up possibly or fuck somebody up i'm okay with that i don't care yeah. i'm proud to do that but don't give me this equality bullshit because that's not what you want exactly. you want easy you don't want equality you want to be in charge. You want to tell people to do. You don't want no real fucking equality. And I don't know if I want one of these psychopaths next to me out there on the battlefield. Oh, hell no. I don't know. You ever try to move a couch with a woman? Now I'm supposed to go <laughs> fight with you? Yeah, that's right. You might as well move the couch by yourself. All right. <laughs> Army story. 2004. I'm in Iraq. I'm in the doghouse because I kicked off a huge fucking row with the DOD. I get picked by my commander to set up an AFIS PX on Abu Ghraib prison. I shit you not. I was deployed, sent all the way across the country to work retail. <laughs> and I did it for just shy of a month. I set the whole fucking thing up. Would you like a gift receipt? <clears throat> but the thing is, is the sergeant major was like, we're assigning you a driver, and it's just this 115-pound chick. I'm like, absolutely not, sergeant major. He goes, why? I go, because she's a chick. He goes, you need, you need to add ease that shit. I go, sergeant major... I, with all my equipment, I'm 230 fucking pounds. This little you know, soldier is not pulling me out of a burning vehicle, dragging me behind cover. She can't do shit, and I don't want her in my vehicle. In fact, I am going to pick my own guy, and I'm going to talk to him right now and ask him if it's okay because I don't just voluntold people for life and death fucking missions. And he was just like, well, all right, give me the name in the morning. I'm like, fuck your name in the morning, Sergeant Major. He'll be in the vehicle by tomorrow. <laughs> and sure as shit, I picked a guy from Detroit named Jones, good guy. And uh, he drove for me. And I mean, we did, we did great things in that one month where I was moving inventory and setting up a PX. 
in the middle of a war zone where he got mortared three to five times a day. And then shortly after that, it's, they made me NCOIC, the sergeant in charge for the entire post, all the security. And I did that for like a, like a month and a half after that as well. But yeah, I mean, it was, there's a whole story between that. I'm not going to waste your time here, but it is what it evolved a full bird colonel and a threat to go to the theater commander and the whole deal. Oh, full bird. You went all the, all the way up that chain of command. Huh? No, I, I just didn't. about, I did it. I had a sergeant, a special forces sergeant major walk into the PX and he's standing there looking at me and I'm like, what, what's wrong? Sergeant major he goes, who's general. Did you punch somebody in the face or fuck a general's daughter? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, you're fucking running a PX. <laughs> you're a triple dab guy with a CIB, and you're running a PX. What the fuck? And I'm like, I don't know. Can, when you find out, could you please tell me? Yeah, let me know. So <laughs> I sold him two chips and a, and a Gatorade and sent him on his way. You're not walking out the door without me getting five bucks out of you. <clears throat> two Great days salesman. later, he, Sergeant Major comes back. Now he's a full bird colonel. And the full bird is like says basically the same thing he was just nicer about it and he's like this is what's going on i am critically short 18 bravos you're an 18 bravo you're a master sergeant you've got two cibs and you're fucking running a px and you're from the second ranger battalion i need guys like you and i'm like well i'm more than happy i'll go sling lead anywhere man he's like all right we're gonna talk who's who should i talk to so I sent him to go talk to the 202 uh, commander, shitbag Edwards. <clears throat> and apparently the meeting went like this. He walks in there. Edwards is a lieutenant colonel. This is a Fulbright colonel. You know, he walks in. Edwards tries to stand up. He goes, oh, just stay seated, you piece of shit. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. Two days from now, I am going to sit down with the theater commander and request your guy out of that PX by name, unless you give him a billet fitting of his rank and experience. And he's like, literally, this fool bird is like, I will bring down the whole fucking Pentagon on you. Two days later, I get sent over to work for another. <laughs> this guy's a fool bird colonel. And he's like, you're in charge of security. I need NCI. And I'm like, okay. I did the, I did the you know, inspection of everything. And I went back and I said, this is a fucking clusterfuck. Your security hasn't even been upgraded since you guys took this place a year and a half ago. If I had a platoon of guys at my disposal, I, all of you would be evicted out of here. I would fucking run you all out. He goes, that's why you're here. And I, I literally changed the whole fucking you know, picture of the whole prison and got some people caught and stopped car bombs, did all kinds of great things after that. But That's you know, the whole story. People, that is a great story. And people who who aren't who weren't in the military, who aren't in the military, the full bird and all that, to realize what a full bird is. In the Army, I think Army, Air Force, and Marines, that's a colonel. But in the Navy, that would be a captain. <clears throat> I mean, you're talking, you're getting up there. You're getting the scrambled eggs you on are, the cover. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, scrambled eggs. That's up there. Like a full bird colonel is one nipple hair away from being a general. Yeah. That's how close stars. it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I uh, when I worked at Trader Joe's, a similar story to that. Um, there was a girl who worked there, a normal girl who worked there. And apparently a customer had done something weird or creeped her out or whatever. Right. So she's telling everybody. And we have these these two people there. They were non-binary, which <laughs> I, whenever they're non-binary, they always look like boys. They got their hair cut, the way they dress. I'm like, you're just supposed to be non-binary. But anyway, so one of them, uh, she is a deadlifter, you know, does CrossFit shit like that. And, yeah, hey, yeah, you yeah. Know, oh, you're getting some size on you, right? Five, five, 120 pounds on, on her best day. And so the girl who got creeped out is about to leave. And the non-binary girl comes up and goes, and she, she's been taking hormones, got her little lamb chops here. Not a full mustache or beard. <laughs> oh, lamb man. chops, right? Got her some lamb chops. So she goes up to the girl and goes, let's go. And I'm standing there <laughs> looking like, what? <laughs> and the, the regular girl goes, go where? And she goes, I'm going to walk you to your car. You said that dude was creeping you out. I'm going to go with you. I'm like, for what? So you can get knocked the fuck out and lay right next to her? What the fuck are <laughs> yeah. you going to do? 
I don't care what you're deadlifting, which I could probably lift with my non-dominant arm right off the couch. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care how many tires you're flipping or hitting them with sledgehammers or pull-ups. I don't care what you do. If some dude is that fucked up and he's hell-bent on doing something to that girl, you're not going to do happening. anything. He's going to walk through you like you're not even there. You're going to be a fine mist when he's done. <laughs> you are going to be – you're going to be a problem for for – if. If somebody, if a guy was with you to protect you, you would be a problem. A minor like, hurdle. Get the fuck out of here. The only but thing, was... the only person she's going to hurt is the EMT who throws his back out putting her onto the stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Look, I, I teach kickboxing every, every Monday for a buddy of mine who used to train me when I used to fight professionally. Yeah. Right? And I have like two dudes in the class and maybe anywhere from 12 to 17 chicks women and some of these women are pretty good and about a year and a half ago um i stayed behind to talk to some people and these pe some of them were walking out and i go out there and there's a couple of panhandlers you know trying to shake down some of the students when they're leaving and i'm like what are you doing this is none of your business we're just asking this woman for some help i'm like well this is what's going to happen they're going to get in the car and leave and you're going to walk down the sidewalk if you fuck with these ladies, I'm going to go up there and get a crowbar. I'm going to start opening people's heads. We don't want that. Just leave. But, like, the, these women, that when they came in the following week, were like, we were terrified. They were getting all nasty and violent. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, you guys are kickboxers. And I go, yes, I know, but we're women. <laughs> they, know, they, they knew the deal. They know their strength. Yeah. There's no way. They, 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 this, like, this one woman, she's pretty good. She weighs maybe a buck forty-five. She kicks fucking hard as fuck. Maybe she could like take out one guy with a leg kick, mm -hmm. but the minute they grab you, it's over. <laughs> yeah. It's a wrap. They don't have no no fucking upper body strength. You know, physics and gravity is a bitch. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked up. Yeah. yeah but one time, my wife who, and she does okay. this regularly. She'll mess with me, and I threw my wife. We have this big bean bag. I threw her down in the bean bag. I put my daughter on top of her, and I put my son on top of her, and I push them all into the beanbag with my left hand. And I'm right-handed. And they're all, oh, we can't breathe. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. Yeah. That's how you let somebody Ugh. know their, their rank uh, in the food chain. That's right. The, the, the people who go out there and, and that they spout all this gender theory bullshit that has no basis in reality, they have never been in a fight. That they've they've bought into the whole you know you were born bad so you must repent for your privilege. Oh by the way, here's a new identity that you can have that's positive. So now you can be a member of the magical oppressed class and get handouts and media coverage. Yeah, <laughs> like, they don't understand reality at all. No, until yeah. it has enough of their shit and jacks them right in the face. Yeah, well until they, they understand have, pretty quick. Until you feel the four knuckles on your face. Up until Not then, everyone has a plan, as per Mike Tyson. Watch Gun Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.